Oh yeah, this brings me back. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most iconic multiplayer stages. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at what we consider to be the most memorable and iconic multiplayer levels of all time. We're ranking our list based on the stage's level of fandom, the impact it had on gaming, and the popularity of the map within the game's community. And no specific genres included. Every map from every game is basically welcome here. Our intelligence has returned to our base. Number 10, Facing Worlds, Unreal Tournament. Unreal Tournament had some really beautiful maps. Skyscrapers that reach into space, research facilities with glowing green goo flowing into vats. If you wanted a break from Quake 3's relentless shades of brown, Unreal Tournament was the place to be, with the notably ironic exception of what's probably its most popular map. A noticeably spartan chunk of rock floating through space with a tower on each end, Facing Worlds was the right kind of boring, the kind of boring that lets the headshots do the talking. The simple symmetry and nowhere to hide layout of the space between those towers meant that there was no trickery that could help you on your flag runs. Just a lot of zigzagging, rabbit jumps, and a prayer that whoever got to the top of the enemy's tower first wasn't a very good shot. Team idiot. Number 9, Final Destination, Super Smash Bros. series. Go! Go! While the original Final Destination wasn't available as a versus map, but was rather a stage to face the final boss, it has since become both a series staple and a fan favorite. The level consists of nothing more than a floating platform in space, so it's not much to look at, although the changing background certainly provides some breathtaking scenery. Due to its simplicity, it's become a tournament staple though, as it is without hazards, making for a fair and balanced fight without the interruption of external forces. In fact, it was so popular that by the time Smash 4, 3DS, and Wii U came out, every stage in the game had its own simplistic Final Destination layout. Number 8, Q2DM1, The Edge, Quake 2. Any Quake fan will immediately recognize The Edge, as it is a landmark map for the franchise and first-person shooters in general. The Edge is known for its variety, complete with an outdoor courtyard and an underwater section, making for fun and interesting outcomes during a match. It has remained incredibly popular since its inception, and has been remade for succeeding games due to its incredible demand. For anyone who grew up with online shooters in the 90s, The Edge is sure to bring back a flood of memories. Number 7, Summoner's Rift, League of Legends. An enemy has been slain. The whole world. An ally has been slain. We think it's fair that the most popular map in probably the most popular game deserves a spot on this list. The map consists of three different lanes that are defended by turrets with a simple objective. Destroy the enemy's nexus before they destroy yours. It's not only a beautiful map situated in an isolated forest, but it requires a large amount of strategy and teamwork as well. Put simply, it's part and parcel to what makes League of Legends so great. Enemy has been slain. Number 6, Wake Island, Battlefield Series. Hey, I owe you one. When you think of Battlefield, one particular map should immediately spring to mind, Wake Island. This map has been captivating fans from its original iteration in Battlefield 1942, and has been remade and revamped numerous times due to popular demand and fan interest. Wake Island has everything which makes Battlefield maps so interesting. It's massive, which favors both short and long-range combat, it's beautiful to look at, and the vehicles are versatile, complete with boats, jeeps, tanks, helicopters, fighter jets, or regular old propeller planes depending on the era you're playing in. No two games in Wake Island are the same, and its variety throughout the series kept it fresh and interesting. Number 5, Two Fort, Team Fortress 2. Team Fortress 2 has remained incredibly popular throughout the last decade, and many of its maps are now classics. However, definitely none are as well known or beloved as that of Two Fort, the default capture the flag map. Two Fort is really nothing special, it's just two buildings facing each other with a bridge in the middle. While this provides some classic and simple base on base action, what makes Two Fort so much fun is that you don't even need to play towards the objective. Most people will simply run rampant, resulting in some of the most outrageous action and a whole lot of fun. While the most serious of players might not enjoy it as much, it's a total blast for the rest of us. Number 4, Facility, GoldenEye 007. Yeah. 
While companies were beginning to experiment with online gaming in the 1990s, perhaps no other first-person shooter captured the market quite like GoldenEye 007 on the N64. It's an absolute classic, despite not aging particularly well, and Facility was arguably the most popular map, which, believe us, is saying a lot. This map basically had it all. Tight shootouts in the bathroom or the boiler room, or sneaky attacks throughout the ventilation shafts and tight corridors. While it wasn't even designed as a multiplayer map, and it may seem archaic today, there was nothing like chasing your buddies around the facility back in the day. Number 3. Nuketown – Call of Duty Black Ops Series Nuketown did something a little differently from the usual COD maps, and we're certainly glad they did. You see, it started as an unofficial project before the team at Treyarch took a liking to it, and now we see why. The 1950s American aesthetic provided something new and inventive for the series, which usually featured run-down, war-torn locations, and close-quarters combat made shootouts both exciting and frequent. The map quickly became a fan favorite, and it's been remade twice in each succeeding Black Ops title. Call of Duty should probably be experimenting more, but if they want to keep remaking Nuketown, that's, that's fine. Number 2. Blood Gulch – Halo Combat Evolved Red Team has the flag. Blood Gulch has captivated gamers since Halo's inception due to its unique setting and wide open space, which provides countless strategies and approaches for the wide amount of toys that you can play with in Halo. It was easily the most popular map in the original, and it was remade as Coagulation in Halo 2 and Valhalla in Halo 3. Well, it inspired it anyway. Despite the Halo franchise's ever-growing roster of maps over the years, Blood Gulch, nearly a two-decade-old map, has remained a fan favorite since the very beginning. Number 1. Dust 2 – Counter-Strike Series No matter how great Blood Gulch is, it may never reach the status that Counter-Strike's Dust 2 has achieved. The Counter-Strike games are arguably the most popular FPS's on the market, and Dust 2 is easily its most popular map. Its signature color scheme makes it immediately recognizable, and the map is incredibly balanced, making it accessible for new fans and a favorite amongst pro players, even though shooters have greatly evolved over the years. Dust 2 has remained the same, proving just how iconic and beloved it is in the eyes of the community. Let's get this over with. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.